Oh, hello. Go. Sorry. Yeah, I had, hello. I had, I, had, I had the mic turned off. Sorry. Hello, everyone. Um, <clears throat> and then, so that's that one. And then the other one is the uh, Great Movie Ride, which I'm sure everybody. That's the one I really like. like. That's really nice. Yeah, this is a really cool shirt. The spectacular journey into the movie is now playing the Great Movie Ride. That's a wrap. August 2017. They didn't know what date it was closing either when they manufactured these shirts. The price is like, I think they go for like 27 bucks or something. So, all right. Um, <clears throat> you can hear me now. Chloe, what's up? Yay. Chloe, hey. what's up? Uh, Hello. I am going to play the, I'm going to start playing the video, Jamie. Um, and then you can uh, go ahead and let us know how everything went with your, uh, with your dessert party last Friday. Awesome. <clears throat> Take it away. You ready? Yep. Yeah, no, it was actually a very spontaneous trip we had. This was a, uh, we've been to two dessert parties in our life. One was at Epcot, and this one came up that we saw on social media. And I woke up early Saturday uh, morning and said, saw it on social media. It's like, I've got to go to this, uh, being the circumstance being closed, uh, closing. So we bought the tickets. Uh, there were three of us, four of us that went. They were... Uh, it was through a, another uh, Disney-related uh, podcast that was hosting it. It was uh, uh, there were the three WDW of us, four of us that went. They were uh, uh, they hosted it. It was one hundred and fifty dollars a person, but it was a well worth it, especially for what you got to uh, what you got to see to do. But it really started off after the parks closes. Uh, park closed, and we made our way in between eleven eleven fifteen. And uh, obviously the park was empty, so getting some great shots of the main street down through the uh, to the attraction was great. No, nobody was there, so we got some great pictures. But uh, got to walk down the main stream there all the way to the attraction, and uh, they let us right in. And uh, they uh, they basically said, once the lights come on, you're free to rain. It was a tour that was uh, at your own pace, so it was obviously the walking tour, That's but cool. the. Uh, the boats were, or the boats, the uh, the little trackless uh, cars were still there in, in the in the front. But you went around them, and we walked down the uh, the stairs. And uh, as soon as the light started, the music started, and and off we went. And it was probably, I would say, at least 200. I think the last number it was it was close to 250 people that that was there. So it's a pretty good turnout. Oh, it was. And yeah, what, no. Did it, it feel was, crowded? Did it feel crowded with that many people, or was enough space for? Everyone? At first, it did because everybody kind of rushed the entrance a little bit, so we kind of stood back a little bit and kind of kind of let it filter out itself. And it did. It worked it out. It worked itself out. And uh, we kind of all went in shifts, and we kind of knew that was going to happen. But we kind of went in shifts and uh, went down the stairs and around to that first bin to uh, to see that the the, uh, the dancing girls, as as I call them, but. To get that close up to the facades to, to see what they look like, what they're made out of, even to the small detail, because even to the minor details as far as a cigarette butt in the <laughs> gangster scene. There were cigarette butts on the uh, really? uh, one of the steps on the facades, and you look down, you, I mean, and it, it was plastic. I mean, it looked real as can be, but when you look, when you look at it, it was really neat, it, even the trash scene with the all the trash all over the gangster street and all the facades. I mean, everything is, everything's glued down, first of all. And, uh, so, but it was, it was nice to, to, to get up close like that. There were some areas that you really couldn't get in close. There was a little platform, uh, just at the beginning of the gangster alley where you go through the, uh, where the hotel, where you go see the, uh, the, the facade or the uh, the shadows in the windows and stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, I didn't know that, but when you went in, there was some gangster talks and there was a conversation in one of the hotel windows that I never really uh, recognized. So I couldn't hear it a lot. So I went up, to, I went real close up to the window, but there was a platform there that I stepped on and uh, they were cl quickly to say, hey, you know, you, can, you know, don't get so close. You know, that I was pretty close, but... <laughs> It depends on where you were, though. There were some other facades that you could climb right up on and, and just lean against, and so it was kind of weird. But but for what it was, it was it was extremely extremely uh, entertaining to to see like that. But I wanted to get behind the uh, the John Wayne scene, the Western scene, 
but they, they certainly wouldn't let us get that close because yeah. I've heard some rumors of what that looks like because you see the facade of the horse and then behind it is nothing but a mechanical horse, a skinless oh. mechanical horse. So I've heard about it. I haven't seen it, but I wanted to see that, but we, we couldn't get that close. Did but, you try, to, did you try uh, to walk over there? No, no, you couldn't. No, oh. you, you, you couldn't. There was people stationed through throughout the, the whole maze, if you will, uh, uh, of course. They were all stationed they were uh, workers. Like there was some security that was that was there as well, and everybody taking video, everybody taking pictures. As long as you didn't have a flash or anything, but uh, Western scene. There was a piano player uh, playing the piano, Western style piano. Oh, that's cool. Uh, there were some gangsters there taking pictures, and uh, it was really great to to meet one of the uh, the Imagineers. And it being a small world, no pun intended, uh, J uh, Brian Collins was his name. And he was one of the show producers. He actually did some character profiles for the gangster scene. And he's done actually a lot of work for Disney. And his, his story is quite entertaining, the way he got his, his, uh, his start in animation, actually through the, uh, or the uh, Imagineers, and uh, got his start through actually the animation department. And... and Oh, sorry. That was my, that was was my your watch. watch. Sorry. <laughs> it was a Did you all hear? That? I heard that. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, and and yeah, so meeting him was was really great, and uh, I got to have him sign. There was actually a character profile, and this was actually uh, one of the gangster uh, profiles. So he signed it for us. <laughs> he says, "Yeah, Jamie, see you in church." He says, see you in church. He, "Yeah," and uh, he signed it, Brian Collins, but. Long story short, no pun intended, it's a small world because he actually went to high school with a, a, a deputy friend of mine that I work with up here in, in at home and uh, went to high school with him. And uh, so that was a great connection we made. But um, he really talked about his background and, and talked about uh, how he produced uh, a lot of those scenes and uh, wrote a lot of um, profiles for all those characters. So it was, it was really, really entertaining. Any questions you had? was awesome. I mean, the, if you had a question about, I even asked about the old rumor that John Wayne's original belt buckle was actually and belonged to John Wayne. And when they first opened years and years ago, they got his original belt buckle from his family. And unfortunately, through the years, that belt buckle went missing. Oh, and geez. it has, I don't think to my knowledge, has ever been recovered. And uh, so I asked about that, and uh, they were kind of on the same lines that, yeah, that was never recovered, and uh, it's still at large as far as as far as they know. But it was uh, that was quite interesting to know. So, um, was but, there a, was there a lot of Imagineers there, or was that the only was he the only one? You know what? It was just the one, Brian Collins. He was the only one there um, that was there that day or that night. But um, some of the other. Uh, what was really cool was the alien scene. You got to get uh, up close. I saw I got how some close you were to that. That was crazy. Yeah. They let you, yeah. you the details see. on that stuff is unbelievable. And if you get look even closer, and I think I took a picture of it in one of the uh, computer uh, module screens. Uh, it's in green letters. It has, and this is how where the details come in because all the Imagineers that had anything and everything to do with that attraction, their names are on it. And for an example. Eric Jacobson was a, a major Imagineer that that had a lot to do with that uh, that attraction, and his name's at the top of the list, and he had some kind of title, but uh, all their names are on there. But you have to really look close to find those those hidden gems. Yeah. But there was a couple pictures we found a lot of hidden Mickey's uh, in there. Uh, there was one I had to uh, they had to show as soon as you uh, if you boarded the attraction. There was actually a mini facade that uh, our mini silhouette that's actually on the wall. If you didn't know about, but the one that I actually found that I didn't know about was the hidden Mickey that was in actually again the gangster scene right across from where the car comes out. And if you look up and to the left, like in the warehouse windows, there's a, a side profile of a, a silhouette of a hidden Mickey. So that was pretty cool. Hmm. And I think I included that. I think in the pictures, but um, it uh, it was really really cool. I knew when I bought the tickets, I knew it was going to be an awesome. Thing because I haven't really been able. That's always in my mind. I always wondered how things work behind the scenes, how it's done, and that, that was a great opportunity for me to for us to to, to do that. 
And uh, and at the end, of course, the probably the cherry on top of things was actually the land of Oz to get to go in there, and uh, you got to take pictures with uh, the uh, oh goodness, what's the uh, the witch of the north? Uh, she was oh, there Glinda. taking Linda. She was there. She was taking some photos and interacted with the witch scene and like they do in the attraction. But so they had a lot of. I, I saw they did the witch scene. Now, did they do the other scenes too? Uh, only some, just some. Um, the gangster scene and the western scene. Did they do those? The, the western, they kind of did the western a little bit, not as not a lot, but the the one full one they did is the Oz because that was kind of the that was the last, of course. That was kind of the ending. Yeah. And, uh, they had and what's so strange about it? You 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 just you only know that attraction by going through that trackless that ride system. You're not you're not used to seeing people st standing in the middle and tables set up and and desserts everywhere and, yeah. and you just kind of get the chill and kind of take it in all in and it was a it, in my opinion it was a sensory overload I mean it really was I mean I was I had my head on a swivel trying to take all that detail in but it was really uh really really neat to to see like that and we posed the question of exactly what would happen. To all that stuff in there, I'm like, right. I'm wondering if that will go to property control. Will it, it be destroyed? Will. will they archive it? Will they do this? Will they do the? I mean, there I'm is. I'm sure they'll archive lot. some of it, and some of it will go to property control, and some of it they'll just sell. Yeah, and it, it, to, to own a piece of that would be would be pretty cool. You'd really have to be in the right place at the right time to kind of know yeah. where to find that and when to find it and stuff. But I don't even know. I we posed the question if they were even going to keep the same track system with mm -hmm. the new Mickey Mouse attraction going in there. I'm wondering if they'll keep that same attraction or keep that same. Yeah, because sometimes they'll use the same track. Like in right. Journey to Imagination, they use the same track system. Yeah, so yeah. you got to think about that. But, yeah. Yeah, at, you know, it, after in, at the end, the end was actually the dessert party. That's where we got to see and, and meet Brian Collins, the Imagineer. And uh, they had one of the desserts was I don't know if y'all had flash frozen popcorn mm. it was a caramelized popcorn and they put it in liquid nitrogen and it instantly froze it so they they would scoop it and they would put it in this liquid nitrogen and they would it would freeze it would do a flash freeze and then they would they would serve it in like a little paper cone and it was delicious your mouth would you know you'd blow smoke yeah. you know like you but uh, it was really good it was really different it was I, I wasn't expecting that but did you stuff Dessert yourself? Stuff. Did you stuff yourself? Oh yeah, there was. Yeah. You know what? There was. There was. I was kind of worried how much they would have, and they had plenty of extra. So yeah, we went back for seconds. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, they actually had an open bar also. Yeah. Well, not not open bar, but they had a a. Uh, they gave you a a ticket for a drink. We okay. had three tickets, and everybody that walked in got a ticket. And uh, so. So my, you only got had, one. You only got one adult beverage. Yeah, one one adult beverage, but we ended up having three tickets. So, uh, so our you drank daughter all three. Did, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> and they had a they had a bar set up, liquor, the beer, liquor, whatever you wanted. No, Amy, it's and, not uh, open bar. It was one ticket. I have some comments yeah. here, Jamie. So someone someone was surprised that someone would steal John Wayne's belt buckle. <laughs> uh, Amy says the Oz scene is her favorite, and that you're so lucky that you were able to get so up close and personal with it. Uh, and then Matt says, uh, make that four of us. So I guess there's some other people up there. I said that it was their favorite scene. Um, and Amy wants to know if, if we ever hear of, if we, if we can buy any of this of this property when they start selling it. And then Sedge says that some of the old props um, go to a CM exclusive store, which I, which I believe is called pop Property Control. Um, yeah. I've been very blessed moment. to go a couple times to that, but you have to be escorted by a cast member. Yep. And uh, yep. and it's it really is a little gold mine. It, it it's really really nice to to be to get to have that. But um, that's kind of that kind of leads into another story, and we'll get into that another show or whatever. But that's kind of property control. That's kind of where I got my desk from. That's kind of interesting story. But the desk uh, that's there's... right behind you with all that awesome Disney all paraphernalia, this, the Disney Anna stuff. Awesome stuff. Look at that, guys. This room all is this. filled with. Oh yeah, I, I'm I'm stuff. full of it. It's it's all kind of stuff. But um, the property control they have. I mean, I've seen other uh, a lot of big big props that would take trucks to 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 get. But it's there for sale. 
So it, it's interesting to see, yeah, again, if that stuff's going to going to show up. Chloe says your office is unbelievable. And Amy <laughs> says it sounds like such a fun event that the next time everybody that's in the chat right now is going to come down. <laughs> yeah. It, uh, yeah, so how did you hear about it? I didn't even hear about it until you mentioned to me that you were going to it, this dessert party. Yeah. It's, it's interesting because about a week prior, I saw some video on social media, and I'm like, these people look like they're walking through the attraction. What is going on? And I thought it was just another behind-the-scene type tour, but uh, other several other uh, podcast entities were were taking advantage of these. You know, I guess it goes through Disney events. Yeah. If you got uh, if if you got a, a a media thing going on, then you can call Disney uh, events and schedule it through them. That's how they did it. But long story short, yeah, I saw it on social media uh, about a week prior, and I thought, what is going on with that? And uh, that following Saturday, I got up and uh, just checked my phone, and this alert come through and get tickets now. And so I clicked on it, and uh, and there it was. So, and it had posted about ten hours prior to that, and I knew it would sell out. I knew it would. And yeah. in about two days, it sold out, and it was two hundred and fifty people. So, wow. And uh, we uh, took advantage oh, wait, of it. Was... Hold on a second. We're getting some requests here for a tour of your office. They say it looks super amazing. Can you? No, you're on a laptop. I don't know if you can do that. Yeah, I can. I, yeah, I can. All right. If you don't mind doing that, the, 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 sure. they would like to see it. Absolutely. And then after that, guys, we'll um, we'll spin the wheel for the for the winners of the t-shirts. And I'll show the t-shirts again. I see some people are coming in right now, and I'll, I'll show you the t-shirts. So let's let's take a look at. Uh, Jamie's office. This will be cool. Sure. All right. So I'm going to unplug my power here. But I'm charged up. I'm good. That's right, Chloe. The people have spoken. They want to see the office. There's no option now. We must <laughs> We must see the office. Guys, look at all the names in the wheel. That's a lot of supporters I posted in the forum for the wheel. I think it's like 34. So your chance is 1 out of 34. Oh, awesome. Well, so, actually, it's 2 out of 9. Mm-hmm. So yeah, so I have my obviously I'm I'm a big art geek and and love to paint, draw, and kind of bring bring back a childhood uh, a hobby, uh, childhood uh, enjoyment. And uh, I use it as a stress reliever now from for my job. But uh, this is kind of where I go to. This is my happy place, if you will. So, but anyway, um, the desk and its story is is is, is a, a sight to, a sight to see and and. In here, but um, this is the uh, late '80s, uh, '90s version of my uh, animation desk. This is an actual uh, authentic feature animation desk that came from the MGM Studios back in the day. And uh, these desks probably can retail, and I've seen them go for ten thousand dollars. I've seen them go on eBay for eight thousand dollars, and to the lowest six thousand. Um, but this particular desk, let's see here. This is the animation wheel. That's kind of where I do all my my drawings. There's a, can you see it? Yep. Yep. Pirate Mickey. And kind of, what's kind of, what animators do that's kind of like a little I don't know knickknack as you call it they they decorate their desk and just in just Disney memorabilia this is just a a little bit of a all my knickknacks oh Jessica Rabbit I actually have So much stuff. Yeah, it is. You could spend hours just going through every single item and explaining what it is and where you got it. Yeah, it's um, it is quite uh, quite interesting. I do have a couple autographs. I got uh, I got Roy Disney's uh, autograph what? up there. How did you get Roy Disney's autograph? Awesome. That was one I got. I actually did. I didn't meet him. I wish I could have, but um, 
that was actually through a, a dealer that had it. Okay. So, and I got Dick Van Dyke's autograph there. Nice. And I got some watercolors by Kevin John. And this um, through here. Let's see. This is a what you call a, a rolling scene stacker. This is what the actual animators. Uh, it was a shelf basically. It was a shelf, and I put some glass shelving in it and just kind of made it a collectible shelf. This is what they would put all their papers in in order for their scenes and stuff, and it's it's on exact rollers like it is on the uh, on the desk. And let's see. Just a lot of all kind of knickknacks. Disney Cruise Line boat. <laughs> yeah, we got that. That's signed by Captain Henry. I got my uh, through my Disney uh, rewards. I got the Wreck It Ralph. What does that work? It yeah, sure does. What is it? Oh, it's a clock. Yeah, clock. That is awesome. All these knickknacks, man. This is cool. Oh, the hat box ghost. Yeah, the hat box. What? There, and what I'm really proud of, to be honest with you, is the um, Slewfoot Sioux. Oh, yeah. I remember you telling and, me about that. Those are hard to find, aren't they? Yeah, in Pecos Bill. Pecos so that was Bill, the decut really, eating really, spot. Really r rare. Yeah. And they have, let's see, they have. I want the ghost too, Matt. I want the ghost too. What's really interesting here, I'll show you. Matt has the bird picture. Which one, the watercolor? This is where I keep all the all my materials. It's got drawers in it. Wow. Amy says your office is like the exhibit of one man's dream. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can tell you right now, I am I am very uh very blessed to to have it. I know that, but uh, right here, yeah, the orange bird. I have to add that emoji to the website. I know. I think Chloe requested <laughs> it, so I got to get the orange bird emoji. And I got the um, let's see, all the this is actually uh, just. Here's a drawing I did. Oh, that's a cool picture. That's great. Um, these are all the uh, like dividers, if you will. This is where they would do their scene stacking, and they put their scenes in it. Here's another one I did. Nice. Do you have any Pocahontas stuff? I do not. Was, but that uh, just mean I. Asking. She's a Pocahontas just, fan. This is probably one of my favorites. Is that a self-portrait? <laughs> <laughs> but actually, to, to top the story off, there is a... Um, when I got the desk, um, I got it and found some uh, some memorabilia that Wait, was in uh, it. Wait, Jamie, people are, people are flipping out about your wallpaper. Oh, my Haunted Mansion wallpaper? Yes. Yeah. Oh, they're stitched, too. I'm How still did painting. You, uh, uh, where did you find that wallpaper? Uh, that's the, um, you know what? It is, let's see, let's see if I can. Oh, and that's the portrait you got of yourself, uh, during, what was that, two years ago? The one sitting on top yeah. of the window? Yeah. Where, was that during the, um, look at that, You're, it just turned, it just changed. Whatever you did just made a change. Oh, that's so creepy. When did they do that? They did that during the uh, party, right? Or not? Or was it just during Halloween time with the new store? Or can anybody do it any any time? I can't hear you. I can't hear you if you're talking. I think your mic might have disconnected or something. I don't know if you can hear me. <laughs> we might have lost him, guys. I hear... I feel, I see a thumbs up, but I still can't hear you. 
I can't hear you. No. I don't know. I can't hear you. I didn't touch anything either. It just went completely quiet. We lost Jamie. We lost him. I mean, we have we have video, but we lost audio. Dun, 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 dun. Well, it's pretty wild. We get to see your office. The wallpaper is so cool. I can't hear you. Well, you try to figure that out, and then what I'll do is I'll spell, I'll spin the wheel for the for the shirt. Let me show the shirt. The first one we're giving away, and he's the one thousandth guest. Yes, he disappeared into the mansion. Um, <clears throat> So as a thank you for all the people that are su that support DCOT, um, this is a supporter giveaway. And the way to enter was through the forums. I'm going to do it right now. Michelle just walked into the room, and Jamie just lost audio. So uh, so this is the first one is going to be for this shirt, the Universe of Energy. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to click the wheel, and whoever it picks, I think there's like 34 names in there. So I'm going to click it. Good luck to everybody, and I'm going to reach out to you via a private message on DCOT, and then from there I can get your mailing address. So good luck, everyone. Princess Sarah. Oh, I thought you were doing the process of elimination. I was going to, but then you said it was going to take too long. Oh. Okay. So... I'll do it for the next one because the next one I think is the better shirt of the two, which is why I did it for last. So for the next one, I'm going to do process of elimination because there's 34 names. So it's going to take a while. So universe of energy. Jamie, we still can't hear you. If I do hear you, I will let you know. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. I don't know. You just like got turned off for some reason. So let's refresh this page. Uh, oh, no, wait. I could just do this. Uh, no, I gotta take her name out. Oh, he hung up on me. He said, bye bye. Uh, there, I'll just take her name out. And we'll do process of elimination, apply the changes, and move this over here. Make sure they understand the process of elimination. Yes, this is. Last, person, last man standing. Last man standing, okay? So, and my video stopped there, but I could see it here. Let's see. Yeah, it's like Wheel of Fortune. All right, process of elimination. I'm going to go through every single person's name, right? So the last person that's on the wheel, that's going to be the winner. So let's get started because it's going to take a couple minutes. Mask fan is out. Oh. He's probably like, He's probably like why did you? Yeah, Michelle, why did you change the rules? I would have won that time. You know you're not going to live that down now. He's going to he's going to hear about that. He's going to he's going to watch this. It's so, going to be like Heather's Price line. So this is the ch this is the shirt, okay. Great movie ride. That's a wrap. August two thousand seventeen. Um, it goes for like twenty seven bucks. It's kind of expensive shirt. But <laughs> Disney Jean. Sorry, Disney Jean. Look, you see now Jamie. Jamie's in there in the spirit with his picture of his thing with his name. So that's that's cool. I'm surprised my phone's not. not He's not. He, he wasn't able to make the stream. DNG is out. Alligator by you is out. Stupid Judy. Oh, stupid Judy should have won the Universe of Energy one. That would have been perfect. Like a default. Yeah. Oh, he's trying to call me. I don't have Facebook open. Let me try to answer his call in time. 
I'm trying, Jamie. I'm trying. No. Can hey, you hear me? How'd you fix it? I don't know. I, I don't know. It just reconnected. Okay. I got you back in. Where you are con What? Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. Sweetness. All right, Disney Pin Guy is out. Did you get your winners? So the first one I didn't do process of elimination. The first one was whoever got picked first, and Princess Sarah won the Universe of Energy. Princess Sarah won the uni Universe of Energy shirt. So now I'm doing process of elimination for the great movie ride. There's a lot of names in here. J. Lush is out. Big Diz is out. Your Pooh fan is out. Jamie, can you put your camera down a little bit? Because it's just good to just see your nose. It's like it's like you're in one of those cartoons or something. Or like a tool time. <laughs> or a home improvement. Range. How's that? That's perfect. Sweet. We're narrowing it down. I think we're halfway through now. Oh, A Cam, I'm sorry. Oh, and she's watching right now. Amy is out. Ooh, yeah, Wilson. That's right, Chloe Wilson. BW. I mean, you got logged in. Uh, there's seven watching right now. Sweet. Disney Gal is out. A Beach is out. Ooh, we're... I don't know what's over. When what? Yeah, it automatically takes people out. Look, after I, after they get it, they get removed. The wheel is getting bigger, and the pieces of the pie are getting bigger and bigger. Oh, why is this? Oh. Pause that. Connie's out. Oh. Okay, well, there's so many names. Craden's out. So who's still here that's in on this? I can't... Oh, Starby's still in on it? <laughs> Jamie Don's out. I'm bad luck. Man. <laughs> What's up with that? Shh, can't take her anywhere. <laughs> Darkest timeline. It's out. Starby, no! <laughs> Starby's out. <laughs> Disney bug is out. No, he says he, he he bought a shirt though. B Pellin is out. I gotta see who's left after this. Rocket is out. So we have Mini C. I can't. It's hard to see it though. Disney fan, nineteen sixty six. Terry, oh. Mini C. I guess I have to click it. Ferg, and Diz MHS. Mini C is out. Diz MHS ninety six is out. Three two three left. Oh, Terry. Who is that? That's one of the clients. One of your clients. The no, parents. The mom. Mm -hmm. All right. So I think it's f okay. It's Ferg and. No, it's Terry and Disney fan 19. No, Terry just got knocked out. Oh man, I gotta it's, stop talking. It's Disney 1966 and Ferg. Okay, here we go. It's down to the last two. It's down to the last two. <laughs> here it is. Drum roll. And Ferg is out. So Disney fan oh. 1966. I see Oh, there's a bug on that thing. They are. Disney fan 1966 this is a GMR t-shirt winner. I will be reaching out tomorrow. Private message on, on DCOT to you to get your information. Cool. And there it is. Disney fan 1966 is the winner. All right, well, that's it. That's a wrap, as they say. I think for the next live stream, Jamie, we're going to do uh, some artwork from you, right? You're going to do some live drawing? I was actually Sweet. talking to a, a DCOT client today, and they were saying how much they like the hat box ghosts. 
Yeah, Jamie has a hot box, hat, hat box ghost thing. A hot box, yeah. <laughs> and we know what that means. Hat box ghost on this thing. But yeah, I have the drawing of it. Yeah, his, his drawing. Okay. I feel like that's popular. That's for like Halloween, right? That would be good for like a Halloween thing. Well, I mean, it's yeah. scary. It's like the Haunted Mansion. So, all right. Well, thanks for hanging out, everybody. Jamie, thank you for stopping yeah, by. And man. thank you for sharing your story from, from last week. That was really interesting. And I'm glad you got to go. And in a sense, I'm jealous, but I'm happy for you. <laughs> I really wish I could have gone. I mean, that was just oh, no. a once in a lifetime that's experience, awesome. man. I tell you. Oh, I, yeah, I knew I wasn't going to pass it up. We had a great time. I'm glad we did it. It was, it was, it was great. All right. Um, so uh, I'll be talking to you soon again thanks everyone for hanging out and we'll see you on the next DCOT Info Spot live stream see ya bye everybody